Now in this next part we've got to estimate the standard deviation and to do that you should be aware of this formula that it's the square root of the sum of the squares of that's t squared f over n, n being the total number of values we've got, the total frequency and then you subtract the square of the mean. Now we've got the mean, it's over here so that's no problem. We've got n, that's sigma f, which is 100, but we haven't got sigma t squared f. All right? So we need to make up a column for that. So if we start then by just drawing a column in here, something like this, then this column would be t squared f. And we'll just extend that across there. So in other words, what we've got to do is take our midpoint, 7.5, square it, and times it by the 10. And if you do that, you're going to get 562.5. And then you've got to do 12 squared times 16 and so on. And if you do that, there they are. Okay. So when it comes to working out sigma t squared f, we need to total this column, sigma t squared f, and total that, you should find you get 41033, okay? 41,033. So all we need to do is substitute these values into the formula to get our estimated standard deviation. So what we've got is equal to the square root then of t squared f 41033 divided by n, which we know is 100, minus our estimated mean over here, squared, so 18.91 squared. Work that out in your calculator, and you should find you get 7.2623, and so on. And then we need to round this to a reasonable degree of accuracy. So I'm going to choose, say, three significant figures. That would be 7.26 to 3. SF. There's your standard deviation.